So President Trump reiterating today that there was no collusion with the Russians in the presidential race after former DNC chair Donna Brazile claimed the nomination process was manipulated in Hillary Clinton's favor. You ought to look at Hillary Clinton and you ought to look at the new book that was just put out by Donna Brazile, where she basically bought the DNC and she stole the election from Bernie. So that's what you ought to take a look at. Well, Brazil's book reveals that the Clinton camp gained significant control over the DNC's finances more than a year before the election. An excerpt from the book says, quote, the agreement signed by Amy Dacey, the former CEO of the DNC, and Robbie Mook specified that in exchange for raising money and investing in the DNC, Hillary would control the party's finances, strategy, and all the money raised. She, Hillary, had exerted this control of the party long before she became the nominee. Let's bring in right now Republican National Committee spokesperson Kaylee McEnany. I mean, wow, on this one. Um, Brazil fired back, we should say, at the president's comments. She said, today's lesson being quoted by Donald Trump means being misquoted by Donald Trump. Stop trolling me. I mean, but that's what she had to say. But what do you make of this whole thing? Well, she just outed her party for rigging the election of Hillary Clinton. So the president was absolutely correct in his comments and to take a look at Hillary's actions and make sure that she didn't run afoul of campaign finance laws, which we know are very strict and stringent. Uh, so you know what? What we are seeing from the DNC, this information, this revelation from a member of the Democratic establishment, I'll remind everyone, is corruption at the core of this party. Uh, we have Donald Trump that drains the swamp in Washington, but the Democrats don't have anyone on their party to drain their swamp and their swamp is is pretty deep and pretty big right now. You know, it's it's interesting too because just last year Donna Brazil said that the DNC was supporting all Democrats. Listen to that. We're not uncomfortable. We're out there every day, the Democratic Party. We have a robust operation. We're supporting Democrats from the top of the ticket all the way down to the courthouse. <laughs> Unless you're Bernie Sanders. Um, okay, so why is Donna Brazil why is she doing this now, do you think? Well, it's an interesting question. I mean, I think in large part it's because the Clintons are now irrelevant. They're no longer in the picture. No one has to cover for them anymore. Hillary Clinton's out on this book tour. I think Democrat, Democrats are exasperated. She's just wreaking havoc on their party, causing them to have a, a publicity hubbub every other day, it feels like. So I think this is an attempt to distance themselves, themselves from a relic in their party who's no longer relevant. You know, it's interesting about Donna Brazil. You have to wonder, you know, if she's trying to save things because she was fired from CNN after leaked emails suggested she used her position to pass information to the Clinton campaign about upcoming appearances. I mean, what do you think is next for her since her reputation is pretty much on the skids? We'll see. I mean, I think right now it's a desperate effort to salvage the party. And someone like Donna Brazil, she saw it firsthand. So maybe this is her attempt to do that. But what's still breathtaking to me, Cheryl, is that you have Democrats like Nancy Pelosi ignoring this and Debbie Wasserman Schultz saying that she's proud of rigging the election for Hillary Clinton. She's proud mm. of what they did at the DNC. You know, at least Donna Brazil's, you know, has had a wake up moment and is trying to do something good for the party. But it's amazing that some still don't see it. Yeah, you're pointing a finger out. There's two pointing back at you if you're Donna Brazil. 100%. Right now. Yeah. Kelly, yes. thank you. Thanks, Cheryl.